on our next phase on our recipe today. So basically, I'm going to do something super simple, but I'm going to show you guys what an actual serving size is so that you know, because a lot of the times when people make pasta, and me being a an Italian um, that came from traditional every Sunday spaghetti and meatballs for dinner, you know, me, I don't want you having carbs for dinner. So I would say if you're going to have that, save it for a cheap. But this is a way to have a healthy pasta. So basically what I have here is I have organic eggs. And what we're going to do is make a scrambled egg white. Right now my water is boiling and I got a small little pan for my angel hair whole, whole grain uh, pasta. Heart healthy, all natural, and a good source of fiber. Fiber is really good. Not that it balances out the carbs. Um, where you don't count it. Somebody actually just asked me that the other day, where you don't count it if it's got 8 grams of fiber and it's got 20 grams of carbs. Does that really mean that there's only 12 grams of carbs that are counted? No. But having fiber is good because it just helps with getting everything moving. So basically what I'm going to do is, oh, and then what we're doing is we are topping, um, since you can't just have pasta plain, is going to be a drop of olive oil just to keep it from sticking and a very small drop of our basil pesto sauce. Now three-fourths of a cup of this is four carbs. We're not going to have three-fourths of a cup. Um, no, one-fourth, I'm sorry, one-fourth of a cup, which is basically if you were to put this much of it, this is one-fourth. You're not going to put this much of it. You're going to put a dab on the serving size. So basically, if you have just a little bit of this, there's 280 milligrams of sodium. You know how much I'm not a really big fan of sodium. But, um, so, but that's for this amount. You're not having this amount. So maybe you'll get yourself about 70 milligrams of sodium, um, less than a gram of carb. There's 1.5 grams of fat in a quarter cup. Um, and there's 35 calories. So, I mean, it's literally just to add a little taste. So I would say count it because every single thing counts, but it really is very small. So basically my water has been boiling um, for about four minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up because it's still not, still not totally boiling. Um, I am going to open this up and basically what I'm going to do is Cut it, cut it, keep cutting it, keep cutting it. I'm going to grab a bowl from out of view um, so that you can kind of see what a serving size is. So here we go. And then we're going to freeze frame as I actually cook the eggs because you don't need to watch me scramble eggs. So uh, here we go. So basically we're going to cut in half. And then leave it in there, and then cut in half again. And I just basically took like a little sliver, okay? So let's just say, we're not, we're not actually getting any real servings, but once this gets soft, you could probably do another little handful of this and maybe a half a cup of pasta. That would be good. So basically right here, it says serving sizes for two ounces, and you can weigh it if you want to. Two ounces is 40 grams of carbs. So you don't really want to have that many grams of carbs in one sitting. So I would say less than two ounces. It's a very small amount. Um, so maybe like 25. And again, you guys know that this would be with your lunch. So um, this is probably less than two ounces right here. Small serving. You can go ahead and literally devour it in egg whites. You could have a salad on the side because those don't really count. It's just water basically. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to freeze frame, put this in the water. Actually, I could put it in now because it just started to boil. I'm going to add a tiny drop of oil just so it doesn't stick. I'm going to stir it around a little bit. Tiny drop. I'm going to stir it around a little bit and then I'm going to cook my eggs. Basically, um, I'm like, you know what, I might as well keep the camera on. Okay, so I'm going to put this on like between medium and high. I'm going to take my spray pan. I'm going to spray it. And basically what I'm going to do, and I could probably f not fit too many because it's a small pan. i got to go out and buy a new one. The last one that I had is a little sticky. Um, 
or getting old. Um, so basically I wait for it to heat up and I'm going to cook four egg whites. So four egg whites depending on the size of them and these are large grade A. It's probably going to be about four grams of protein. The extra large ones are about five grams of protein. We're only going to have the egg whites so that's about 16 grams of protein. In that pasta, if you were to have the whole two ounces and the 40 grams of carbs, which you're not going to have, you're going to have a little bit more than one, um, that's going to be about uh, six grams of protein that you're getting just from that whole wheat pasta. So maybe what you'll, you'll since you're not going to have the whole serving, you'll probably end up getting about four grams of protein. So if you have 16 from the four egg whites, you're getting 20 grams of protein. That's good. So now basically what I'm going to do is use that same bowl that I used with my pasta. And I'm going to get rid of, or you don't even have to use it, crack it open. See, nice, the pan's nice and warm. And I'm just going to get my yolks out of the way. You could put it right back in here, or you could put it inside that bowl. I'm just going to put it right back in here. So we got one. We got two. Three, we got four. And then I'll mix them around. That's almost done. So, yes, um, I don't know if you know this, but the, uh, the whole grain pastas, they do take a little bit longer to cook. If you like, it all depends on how you like it. If you like it al dente, meaning like a little bit hard, um, you can just test it, try it out. Um, so... Basically, all of you guys should have scales, so you could weigh out your food. Um, I got my little this, get my spoon again, and stir my pasta. Okay, then this is almost done. So basically, when I scramble my eggs, I just kind of move them over. Because we're just going to chop them up anyway and mix them in there and put a little bit of the pesto. So, here. We'll have that cook for a second. Now let's go like this and rinse this bowl out. Okay. Now let's go like this and dry it. Oh, look, no freeze frame today. Okay. Now... We'll stir this one more time, and it's pretty much done. Depends on how you like your eggs. Some people like them runny. I like them super, super, super well done. So, like this. Then, let's just try this out with our, I believe I have a spoon in here that has the screen. Yeah, so it's probably done. So I'll just pour it out in here. I don't know if you guys can see me. But then what I have put out as much as possible, and then I take the rest of it, put it in here. Boom. And here. And this, I say it all the time. Us as Americans, we look at food and its actual serving, and we're like, oh my God, that is so small. When you really measure it out, a serving is actually super small. Okay, so then we go like this. Now we'll take our same. This is done, so we can pour this. And there's a lot of egg whites. We mix it all together. This I'll shut off because it's burning my eyes. Okay, mix it, mix it, mix it. And I'm actually going to give this to my son because I can't eat pasta and he loves this. So since I already have a little bit of oil from there, I am just going to take a little bit. Not, I'm like, look at that. Do you even really want to count that? And you just mix it in. Tiny, tiny bit more. Mix it in. And you got your pasta, pesto, and egg whites. And there you go. Mm, mm, mm. My son is taking a nap right now while I'm making this video for you guys. And this is what he's having when he gets up. So I hope you guys like this recipe. Small. I love you. Okay.